Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Ruby and Sapphire they were pretty disappointing when I was like eight when I got them or whatever. Am I the only one this happened to where Ruby and Sapphire were just the most disappointing thing to me as a kid and it was for just stupid tiny reasons? I love the games now as if you've watched my streams lately or if you uh, watch any of my ch uh, videos on the channel I RNG in it a lot. Uh, it's fun to play um, but when I was a kid this might have been the first disappointing video game to me ever. Raisin 1. So this one only really applies if you played Crystal when you were a kid, the first point. Um, and Crystal was very special to me as a child because it was the first game I pre-ordered and the first game I spent my own money on. Um, I can't remember how old I was, but it, it wasn't that old. And so I had a lot of fond memories of that game. And so, it was also the most recent Pokemon game I had played until right, right before Ruby and Sapphire came out. And so, as you turn on Ruby and Sapphire, you get into the first battle, you're so excited. Where's, where's my battle animations? Why, why isn't my Mudkip doing a little dance when I send him out? Why didn't the Poochiena do anything? And I know they fixed this in Emerald, but Emerald came out like two or three years later in the U.S. after Ruby and Sapphire. So I don't care about that. This is my first impressions when I was like eight or whatever. That sucked. And I was sad. And it made me disappointed in this new game. Number two. So number two is something that also would bother you if you came from a Gold and Silver. If you, start, if you played Gold and Silver when you were a kid. And I actually thought it was going to be in the game because there's a clock in the game. And if you know where I'm going now, it's where's my day and night cycle, game freak. Where is it? Where is it? It's there, but the atmosphere, Golden Ron City at night, even today. Mm, that is atmospheric perfection on Game Boy Color. It's beautiful. I love it. And it was gone, and you took it from me. And I was a little disappointed, game freak. Number three. This ain't that bad. I never had both Pokemon games growing up as a kid, but my brother always had the other version. And, again, in Gold and Silver, the sprites were different. In Gold, Gold had different sprites than Silver version. And it was just another cool little detail that I knew right away because me and my brother both picked Mudkip. It looked the same. And just again, little may, may little baby... Blissy, a little happiny, made a little happiny sad. Another thing that was disappointing. Four. So this one is going to seem stupid to you nowadays, but as a kid, uh, everyone always talks about those rumors that went around the playground with red and blue about you could get Mew by pushing the truck. Well, there was some stuff. Even I was in elementary school still for Ruby and Sapphire. I was in elementary school for Red and Blue, Gold and Silver, and Ruby and Sapphire. Um, so rumors still persisted like crazy and one of the biggest rumors and of course I thought it had to be true and this is kind of two in one point there was no way to go back to Johto and there was this rumor that you could use the submarine that like team aqua and magma stole to get there like you have to do some stuff I don't even remember the details but you could do some stuff to get to the submarine and the submarine would take you to Johto and I wanted to go back so bad and and it and it was just so sad that it's not there that you couldn't go back, that you couldn't go back to this place that you had been several years ago and see how it changed, like in Kanto, because that was so cool. But on top of that, number five is that where's my Pokédex? There's no Pokémon. I couldn't catch, I couldn't get my Totodile, my favorite Pokémon. You, you can't get until like Colosseum or Emerald, and I didn't have a GameCube. And like I said, I didn't play Emerald very much. And even then, to get it in Emerald is a pain. And this is a first impression kind of thing. So it's like... Just the lack of variety of old Pokemon was really sad. 
really sad for, for a kid. Because you couldn't trade up your old friends, and you couldn't make new friends. Well, you couldn't make new friends to replace the old friends. Like, I couldn't get a new for alligator friend to replace my old for alligator friend. Which I would have nicknamed the same thing and just pretend it is the same for alligator. So that was, a, uh, you know, those five things that were disappointing about Ruby and Sapphire when they first came out when I was a little kid. That now don't really bother me that much. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you want to see anything similar to this, um, leave a comment in the description. Maybe leave comments in the description of what disappointed you about Ruby and Sapphire or what you like about Ruby and Sapphire. Because I really like Ruby and Sapphire nowadays. Um, maybe uh, I'll do videos like this for other gens if you'd like. Um, or if you uh, want to leave your comments about what disappointed you in other gens. Um, leave that down there too. Thank you so much. Have a good one. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.